What's up guys? Uh, we're going to answer some questions that you have. Uh, the plan is to do this at least once a week. We're going to go through our email and uh, check to see what kind of questions you guys have and, and make a video and just kind of talk about them a little bit. So let's dive right into it. Uh, are your holsters optics ready? Yes. Yes. All of our holsters are optics ready. Um, with the exception of our level two holster, um, all of our holsters fit all optics, except for frame mounted, um, you know, but any slide mounted standard modern optic uh, will fit in all of our holsters. Like I said, with the exception of our level two, um, there are some, some optics on the market that are very large. This, uh, this Aimpoint Acro, this is the Gen 2, and on an FNX 45, the optics plate is, is fairly tight to the top of the slide. Um, you know, it's, it's deep. So if your optic is 1.2 inches or taller from the top of the slide on our level two, um, it will not fit. It will not fit up underneath our hood. So the Aimpoint Acro on an FNX45 is 1.16. So it's close, it's on the larger side. Um, does it fit in our level two? Yes, it does. All right, so Aimpoint Acro, uh, Gen 2, FNX45, Level 2. This is about the largest combination that's going to fit inside of our Level 2. Um, now, what you also get with the enclosed emitter optics and a rotating hood type Level 2 is this arc back here. So if the optic is all the way to the back of the slide, chances are um, that hood is going to fit it all the way down. So, um, you know, we do have a list of things that, that, that work, um, you know, but on our enclosed emitter, um, if, it's, if it's greater than 1.2 inches, it will not fit. Um, and if it's closer than half an inch from the back of the slide, chances are it's not, it's not going to fit out of it. So, um, but all of our holsters are optics ready, just maybe not every optic on the market for our level two. All right, moving on. Uh, do you have a level three duty holster? Um, at the moment, we do not. So we have a level two. Level two is starting off with friction. That's your first level. Um, you need to grab your firearm, physically remove it from the holster. That is a level of retention. Second level being our um, hood. That is an active level of retention. And that requires the deployment of this button here, allowing the hood to uh, fly forward. So that is our level two. We are working on level three. Um, it's not ready. It needs to be perfect. Um, active retention has to be has to be perfect. It has to work every single time. Um, it has to be robust. It has to be reliable. So you know, ours isn't ready for our level three. Um, is in the works. We will be releasing something maybe next year. Uh, we'll see. It's, it's not a priority for us right now. So, uh, what is the difference between a double loop and a quick loop? Okay, double loop, belt slide. So, there's two loops. Um, we try to keep things real simple. Our holsters, they're called level two duty holsters. Why? Because they have a second level of retention. Our inside the waistbands, you can call them inside the waistbands. Um, you know, so on and so forth, outside the waistbands, appendix, holsters, um, try not to complicate things, it's complicated enough as it is. So, um, our double loop has two loops. You slide your belt through it. Um, you have to take your belt off, slide it through, and then, uh, and then it's locked on there. So, this is the most reliable form of belt attachment for a duty holster, outside the waistband holster, whatever. Um, you know, something that slides through your belt. So this is this is typically our recommended. Um, you know, to make this more convenient, we have a quick disconnect, right? You can hit that button, slide the, uh, the mount on, hit the safety, and this thing's locked on there. Um, we also have a quick loop, right? What is the difference our, our um, Double loop versus our quick loop. Okay, so the quick loop. I do have one here. All right. So throw those two tabs, 
depress these two buttons and it releases. All right. Um, we have one of the most robust quick loops on the market. Um, this type of loop, ours is, we've tested every single one and ours has the heaviest breakaway weight. So um, it's still not as strong as a double loop. It's never going to be. Um, our double loop breaks away. I mean, typically it's going to rip the screws out of the holster. Um, it's going to tear a belt. It break away at a thousand pounds or more. Uh, most of the time when we do our testing, we end up stopping, um, you know, around six to eight hundred pounds because it quickly starts to bend and, and things like that. So, um, which we're perfectly comfortable with. You apply more than four hundred pounds to your hip laterally. Um, typically, going to have some sort of medical issue before your before your holster comes off. So, um, double loop. That's what you've got. Quick loop. They work. Um, you know, it's plenty of breakaway force, so these things are great. But with every bit of convenience, uh, you do sacrifice something. So that's what we've got there. Um, do you offer express delivery? Uh, delivery. We offer express manufacturing. Um, you know, if you select a light bearing holster that we do not stock, or any other holster that we do not stock, we do offer. Um, we did in front of the line, we call it an express pass. Um, I don't know what the price of it is right now, but it fluctuates with the seasons. Um, you know, but yeah, we do make it, you can get them out quick. So typically days um, to you inside of a week, more than likely. So uh, I believe we offer express delivery to like shipping. Um, you can get overnight and an express pass. I mean, you know, if you absolutely needed a holster, you could probably get you one in days um, to your door. So, I don't see my firearm listed on the website. Can you make me a custom holster? No. Um, we have a request list. So there is a form on our website that you can fill out. You can put in the type of firearm that you have. And um, if we get 10 or more inside of a month, chances are we'll make it. It depends. Depends how busy we are. Um, you know, when we manufacture tooling, we buy the firearm. Uh, we do a little bit of research, we check everything out, we make sure that we're going to adapt to all the aftermarket parts, extended like mag releases, um, you know, different optic plates, uh, compensators, we, we see what's on the market, we see what people are using, and then we have to design a tool to, to make holsters for it. So there, it's a little bit involved, um, you know, it's, it's not, those, the days of grabbing a blue gun and wrapping plastic around it, they're dead. Um, you know, there's, there's quite a bit that goes on with the tooling, so. Um, can we do it? Yes. You know, if you have an agency and you need, you know, 20, 30, 40 holsters, 5,000 holsters, whatever it is, we've got you covered. Um, we can turn tooling around if it's, you know, straightforward um, inside of a week, and we can typically get you a product uh, inside of 30 days. So, um, do we make custom holsters? Yes. Do we make custom one-off holsters for your granddaddies, whatever? Probably not. Um, no, we no. don't. So, what is a molly attachment? Um, what is our DM1 versus DM2? I don't, I don't have it here in front of me. Um, our DM1 goes across two rows of molly. Our DM2 is a single row of molly. Um, DM2 you can use on a battle belt. The DM1 is, is going to be for like a placker or a plate carrier or inside of a backpack or something like that. So. Um, DM1 is a lot more weight bearing. You can put a firearm on it, you can put all kinds of things on it, they're very heavy duty. Um, DM2 is made out of Tegris, so it's a poly coated fabric, um, super tough stuff. It's a really cool product. Um, we use that as laser cut. Uh, DM2 is great. Um, belts versus plate carriers, you know, that. We DM1 and DM2. So that's it. Drop your questions in, and uh, we'll see you again next week, and we'll go over as much as we can.